Well, welcome back. This is Greater Devotion, and I'm Pastor Brad. And today I want to ask you another kind of weird question, but have you ever been in a crowded room or a room full of people when all of a sudden it gets really quiet and all the attention is on you? Now, sometimes that's because we do something embarrassing. Sometimes, and I think most of us have experienced this before, we've had to get up in front of a group of people and you know share a presentation or give a speech or something like that. Well, for most of us, when we find ourselves in that sort of a circumstance, it can be kind of embarrassing. And, you know, we can feel really out of place and really awkward in those moments. Well, you know, we've been talking this week about getting God's attention. Well, what happens when all of a sudden God's attention is actually directed at us? You know, how do we respond? How do we react? Because I think for many of us, that might feel a little bit like too much and, and maybe a little bit awkward for us. Well, Isaiah said this in Isaiah 55, 6 through 7. He said, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Now here's what I feel like Isaiah is getting at, and it's something that we should remember, is that as we seek after God, and as God turns his attention on us, that we should step into that place of intimacy with God by removing any agendas or any things that we, anything that we might come to the Lord with that would really put something between us and him. In other words, we come to him humbly, peacefully, and with all grace and mercy, we lay ourselves kind of bare and at his feet. And when we do that, we get to experience God in the most purest sense. And so today I want to just share with you that getting God's attention is not a bad thing and we don't have to feel awkward or weird. It's a good thing, but let us come into that in a place of humility so that we can really experience that intimacy uh, to its greatest degree and that God can really meet with us in that place. On that good word, let's close with prayer. Lord, we thank you because you are good and you do want to meet with us. And Lord, it's, it doesn't have to be weird or awkward. It can be just this joyous, good moment. And help us, Lord, to lay all of our junk uh, aside so that we can really experience you. And so, Lord, I just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks again for watching. Go ahead and click the like and share button. We do appreciate when you do. It does help us get the word out there. And maybe today in the comments, you can just leave a little bit of a story, a testimony of a time when you really came to the Lord and you just laid it all out before him. And God just met with you in that place. And you just knew that God was there with you. And it just changed your perspective and your circumstance. And you just love sitting in his presence. I know you have a story. So go ahead and share that. I'd love to hear it. Till we see each other again, go ahead and uh, show somebody a little bit of kindness, love, and respect, even today. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.